Hey, what's up there, YouTubers? It's me again, Brian, aka Gamer55551. And I'm back with a review slash thought video. And for this one, it's not going to be based on a TV show or movie, but this one's going to be based off of YouTube TV, um, the um, TV service or the streaming TV service for those who are, you know, cutting the cable or anything um, like that at all. Now, I've had um, UT YouTube TV for almost, almost a year. Um, December will be the one year anniversary. If I've had it since December um, 2022, and I kind of tried it out at the first free trial when it when it came out and everything like that though and i have stuck with it um ever since then though and having spent almost a year with um youtube tv i will say that i mean for something that is just streaming especially if you're looking for a cord cutting uh type of approach though utv youtube tv may not be a bad choice or anything like that but it does come with um some caveats though and that really depends on whether or not you're okay with some of the decisions that they made that google made with youtube tv or not so i'm going to break it down into what i like and what i didn't like or mix or not 100 percent um sold on on it though or anything like that though in terms of what i like though i will say that the streaming service or the youtube tv seems to run very well i mean where where I'm at home or anything like that, it runs perfectly fine. I have a, you know, I have Cox internet and everything like that. And I haven't had any real major issues or any problems or any connection issues or anything like that. I mean, hell, I've even tried it out YouTube TV on, say, like my Xbox Series S that's hooked up to my TV. It's not smart TV or anything like that. And I was able to get picture quality on the streaming of it just perfectly fine through it and all so i mean it runs perfectly well in my house i've tried it out um in other places ranging from like say the carl's jr which has a wi-fi which up and down on that one um to be exact though where i work though and it ran perfectly f and it ran fine there to even the internet where i work which Again, it sometimes can be spotty at best. It can, it some, it has its ups and downs, um, though. But I was still able to watch a lot of the shows and everything, even when I was like on my break or anything like that. And it certainly ran perfectly well for where I went so far. So in terms of, in terms of you know the streaming and everything like that. I haven't ran into any major issues at this time with it or anything like that. So that certainly is not, certainly isn't a bad thing for those who are thinking of taking advantage of YouTube TV though, although it's worth pointing out YouTube TV is only available in the United States um, at this time though. Um, it's certainly nice, another thing I do want to talk about is the fact that it's certainly nice it has over basically 100 channels. So that certainly is not bad in terms of what channels is available for you and all though. Um, basically what you do first is you enter in your sort of your zip code to where you live and everything and it will show all the channels that are available most of them will be um local channels like where i live i have abc7 and everything like that but they also have stuff like you know fox sports um fox sports one and two and and that stuff and some of the nfl networks um to be exact i believe so not some not the add-ons or anything like that but certainly nice that it has you know over like a hundred channels and everything so that certainly is is good plus you can also customize how, what channels you have one on you, you basically running with YouTube TV and finally last but not least um, if you have a if you're signing up you know getting you know like even the base plan though which is basically 70 by, by basically $73 a month $65 for the first three months though if you're just basically getting that though I mean if you know your you Google and YouTube password you could just sign in and you're pretty much um good to go and everything like that so you don't really need to have a another password for it unless of course you're getting this separate or something like that but if you have like a youtube password or google password you should be good to go to signing on to um youtube tv and all as far as what i didn't like or mix or not 100 percent sure though um and some of this may have to do with some of the add-ons and whether or not they're worth the price to add, to get or not, though. So, for example, like Max, basically, if you wanted to get HBO Max or once was it called HBO Max, but now called Max, it's like 16, adding $16 a month to it where basically some of the bundles can cost up to like 
$30 and all. So it really depends on how much you're willing to spend to put some of these packages into, you know, YouTube TV. I mean, if you're just getting the base plan though, um, it's just $73 a month, but the more of these packages you add, the more it adds to it though. So it makes you kind of wonder, is it worth, like for example, eight max, is it worth paying the 16, adding $16 a month to your YouTube TV? Or is it better just, you know, going to the app and maybe, if you want to do this, like maybe pay like the hundred dollars every year instead of paying, you know, sixteen dollars a month. So it really just comes down how much are you willing to spend. And some of these add-ons can be a little bit pricey, um, to be exact. So it depends on how much you are willing to spend on some of these packages and all for YouTube TV. The other thing to point out is that any changes you want to make to it, like if you want to customize your list of networks or anything like that, you're not going to be able to do it through if you're watching YouTube TV on like your smart TV or if you have it on your like your game consoles like the Xbox Series X and S or the PS5. You'll have to make the changes either on your computer or on the app on your phone and tablet though. I mean, it's not a huge deal or anything like that, but it might be annoying for those who are wondering if they could just do the changes on the fly in terms of going on, you know, like, you know, the YouTube TV app on your TV or game consoles or anything like that. So a little annoying, but nothing that really, nothing that really ruins it. You can just do it through your computer and tablet and or phone or anything like that. And you're pretty much good to go, though. I have my setup for custom in terms of what networks I tend to watch um, the most and everything like that. So, but it is a little annoying, though. Not big deal, but a bit annoying, though. And, and last but not least, some of the channels on YouTube TV are, are fortunately are not available at this time, at least at least for basically on YouTube TV. Some channels like History, Lifetime, and A&E, it's not there. So for those who tend to watch those shows, you might, or watch, you know, that network, you might be a bit disappointed to see that it's not available on YouTube TV. While some sports networks like MLB Network is not available on YouTube TV at this time, some of it is reports of a contract dispute or anything um, like that. So for those who are looking for certain channels or anything like that, you might be a little bit disappointed to see that some of them are not available on YouTube TV um, as of right now. Um, overall, I would say YouTube TV isn't necessarily um, bad or anything like that. I enjoy it for what I'm particularly using it for. I mean, I'm just, it's basically for me, not adding any of the add-ons, it's just basically cable without the cable box. That's pretty much um, what it is though. I mean, at its best, I it ran very well at, from where, whether it's at home or it's other places, even places, as I mentioned, that don't have like the best Wi-Fi or internet though. Um, having a hundred channels is certainly nice. And those who have a Google or YouTube password, you're good to go, just sign in and you should be all set and everything like that. So at its best, that's good. I mean, at its worst, however, some of the add-ons can be a bit pricey and it depends on how much are you willing to spend on some of these add-ons to be exact though. Some of the, if you wanna make any changes, you'll have to do it through the computer or on the app on your phone tablet. You're not gonna be able to do it on the fly if you go to like the YouTube app, YouTube TV app on your smart TV or on your game console or anything like that. And some channels, as I mentioned, like A&E, History and Lifetime are unfortunately, um, not available on YouTube TV um, at this time. Some of it is dispute, some of it is just isn't there or anything like that. So at its worst, that those that is a bit unfortunate. But for those who are okay with, you know, just cable without the cable box or anything like that, I mean, YouTube TV isn't um, necessarily bad though. I just used to just watch, you know, the 100 channels and that's it. I don't really do any add-ons. And for $73 a month, that's not technically that's not bad compared to some of the other ones I'm out there I mean yes there are some I think like are much cheaper than YouTube TV but it also depends on the quality um, as well so it really depends on how it really depends on how much you're willing to spend especially if you're aiming to you know cut the cord you know cord cutting and everything like that so for me though I thought YouTube TV is good for what I'm using it for to be exact though I no, don't see myself using any of the add-ons since I could probably Probably just get max and just pay like you know like a hundred dollars you know for one whole year to basically watch you know max and everything like that might be okay for some but not for me I'm just happy with what I have but if you like the idea of cable without the cable box and you don't really are not looking at any add-ons or anything like that I mean to me YouTube TV isn't a bad choice at all
<clears throat> okay, uh, this concludes my review slash thought on YouTube TV. And again, these are my opinion. What are yours? What are your thoughts about YouTube TV? Have you had that as part of your core cutting um, experience? Are you using other stuff like Sling or Hulu TV um, instead? Do you think those are better in any way? Um, do you think the price at being at $73 a month, do you think that's a fair price? Do you think it should have been lower or anything like that? Um, are you disappointed that some channels are not available on YouTube TV? Do you think some of the add-ons can be are pricey or do you think they're just right? Do you agree with what I said in this video? Do you disagree? Do you have a difference of opinion? Um, as always, sound off in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And if you do like this video, I hope you hit the like button. I would appreciate it. And I hope you do subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you do, make sure you hit the bell icon for notifications of any new videos I put up. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, feel free to share this video if you want to, and feel free to donate to my channel if you like. You can do it through PayPal Me or Patreon or Steam Labs. Links will be in the description of this video, assuming you're watching this on YouTube. And I will see you again next time when I do another video. Hopefully that'll be soon. Until then, from Southern California, I wish you all a good day then. Bye!